the present perfect. To find out more information about this verb tense, turn in your textbook to chart 3-1 on page 38 and chart 3-3 on page 43. Chart 3-1 will give you an overview of the present perfect tense, and Chart 3-3 will explain the differences between the present perfect and the simple past. The present perfect, in general, has three different possible meanings. Let's look at the first one now. The present perfect can describe an event that began in the past and continues to the present. In these cases, it is usually used with since or for. Look at the two sentences below. I have lived in Norfolk since 2011, or I have lived in Norfolk for one year. In both cases, the speaker has lived in Norfolk for a certain period of time and still lives in Norfolk now. This has not changed. This is still true in the present, even though it began in the past. Notice how you form the present perfect. It's has or have, plus the past participle. Now, what's the difference between since and for? Since we use with a specific time, like 2011, or yesterday, or one month ago, or at 2 p.m. For, on the other hand, we use with a length of time, like for one year, for two months, for three days, any length of time. The present perfect can also be used to describe events that happened repeatedly in the past until now. And we can safely assume that these events will continue to happen in the future. They will probably occur again. In these cases, we often use so far. Look at the sentence below. We've taken two quizzes so far in Ashley's class. We form the present perfect by using have plus the past participle of the verb take, taken and we use so far. What does this sentence mean? It means that in the past we took two quizzes, and we will probably take more quizzes in Ashley's class. We're not taking a quiz right now, but we're also probably not finished with this event. It will probably happen again. Second sentence. She has had two glasses of wine since she arrived at the party. Has plus the past participle of the verb have, which is had. And of course, what this sentence means is, in the past, she drank two glasses of wine. She's not necessarily drinking a glass of wine right now, but she probably will drink another glass of wine before the party is over. We assume that she will continue to drink. This event is not finished. Finally, the present perfect can also describe past events that occurred at an unspecified time. We don't know when in the past the event occurred. It is finished. It's not going to continue to the present. It's not going to repeat itself. We simply don't know when in the past this event occurred. In these cases, we often use adverbs like already, yet, ever, never, and adverbs of frequency like once, or twice, or seldom, or recently. Look at the example. I've already finished my homework. Again, have, plus the past participle of the verb finish. All we know is that the speaker has finished her homework. We don't know when she finished her homework. She might have finished her homework two minutes ago. She might have finished her homework two hours ago. We don't know when. We only know that it happened sometime in the past. A few rules to remember with adverbs. Yet can only be used with negative sentences and questions, and it always comes at the end of the sentence. Already can only be used in positive sentences, like the example above, I've already finished my homework, and ever is only used with questions. Now let's look at question forms and short answers with the present perfect. To make a question with the present perfect is quite simple. All you have to do is bring the auxiliary verb have to the front of the sentence, in front of the subject. Have you ever been to Mexico? Or has she ever been to Mexico? Quite simple. Then you can give a short answer, which is simply yes I have, 
or no, I haven't. If it was a singular subject, a third person singular subject, it would be yes, she has, or no, she hasn't. It's that simple. Now let's compare the present perfect to the simple past. V both verb tenses describe events that happened in the past, but they cannot be used in the same way. So what are the main differences? Well, first of all, if you're talking about an event that began in the past and ended in the past, it is completely finished. Then you might use the simple past, or you might use the present perfect. It depends. Both tenses can refer to events that began and ended in the past. If you know when the event happened, it happened yesterday, it happened two hours ago, it happened last year, then you would use the simple past. If you don't know when the event happened, it happened already, it hasn't happened yet, it never happened, it happened once, it happened several times, then you use the present perfect. When you're talking about events that began in the past and continue to the present, they're still happening now, then you can only use the present perfect. You can never use the simple past for those events. Now it's your turn. Read the sentences and decide whether you should use the present perfect or the simple past. Let's look at the answers. For the first one, I have been tired since yesterday. We use the present perfect. Why? Because of since. We can assume that this person is still tired. This event is not finished yet. It began in the past, but it is still happening now. Therefore, present perfect. And we use since and not for because we have a specific time, yesterday. For the next one, has she ever ridden a bicycle? No, she hasn't. We use the present perfect. Why do we use the present perfect here? Because we don't know when in the past this happened. We're talking generally, and as you'll notice, we have the adverb ever in this case. When you see ever, you're going to use the present perfect. And of course, we have the short answer, which is very easy. No, she hasn't. We have seen this movie six times already. Present perfect again. Why? Because we don't know when they saw the movie. We know that they saw it already in the past six times, but we don't know when those six times are. So we can't use the simple past. My wife and I fought about the bills this morning. Fought simple past. Why? Because of this morning. We know when this event happened. It's not still happening now. It's finished and done, and we know when it happened. Simple past. Finally, they have flown to New York many times. Present perfect. Why? It's the same as the sentence about the movie. We've seen the movie six times. They've flown to New York many times. It happened in the past but we don't know when, so we use the present perfect. For more practice, turn to your book and do exercise 4 on page 39 and exercise 13 on page 44.